Hello everyone, I'm Great Look, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to Space Engineers for episode 37, where we are still working on the design of our initial space breaker ship, or well, space ship, the one that's going to bring us into space. So we had this design with six large storage containers, and honestly, this Pretty big. No. Oh, let's grab some fuel. Dang it. Fuel Hello, Wolf. No bodies here. I really feel like the wolves don't add much to this game. The AI is not the greatest and they're pretty easy to deal with, but. Maybe they all improve on that at some point. Let's just leave them be. But yeah, six cargo containers. We're not gonna fill those up while going into space because that. I think that might be too heavy to. Well, lift up there. At least it would be a lot easier if we only had one or two of them built. And then of course all of the hydrogen tanks filled, but we'll see. As this is going to be our main base, at least at the start in space, should we just scale it up and go for four refineries? Mm. Is this where we are starting? Yeah. So something like that. That still leaves us with some um, space for assemblers and O2 producers, oxygen producers. Mm, maybe even... Well, maybe we should use modules on these refineries actually. Or is that too overkill? I don't think we're gonna be going for any big builds in space, so it probably isn't the most important thing. Uh, what sort of modules is the... Put this in. Speed module just speeds them up, so that's... Okay, power efficiency module just makes them take less power, of course, but... We could just get power, bit, get better power generation, I think. Hmm. Of course, if this is the ship we actually want to bring towards the moon, then that is. We can't just have anywhere where we're going to land and re. repower the ship, so we would have to have some power generation on board. Which is fine. We can just have some hydrogen engines or whatever they're called. But that means we have to go and mine more ice, of course, but I think that is fine. Maybe power efficiency modules will help. I'm not sure. Yield modules means that we get more resources from everything we refine, which is obviously pretty awesome. At least if you want to do big builds, but do we really need it for our space adventure here? Hmm. Another wolfie running around without direction. One question without oh, about all this is is if is this just ship we want to be fighting pirates with and land on the moon and stuff like that? Or do we want to have connectors on this and just have some smaller ships that we fly out with? Probably the latter, because 
this isn't going to be a very agile ship, I don't think. And we don't really want to put armor all around it, so for fighting pirates it's probably not the best. So we will probably land this somewhere, and in that case we can also put up some solar panels there, or whatever we want to produce power. Which means that we don't really need the power efficiency modules at least. But we can just add more solar panels. Speed modules aren't really that important when we have four refineries, I don't think, at least. Yield modules, though, means that we would have to make fewer resource runs with the mining ship. So that does sound pretty enticing. The modules need to be placed underneath the Liso in their current orientation. So where are the refiners there? So we could just do this, I guess. These eight yellow things are where we can connect the modules. Mm. Let's just think a bit about how we want to connect everything else to these. So we only have connected at the back and on the top and at the front in this orientation. But I think that's fine. We can connect something right here and hopefully connect everything else with that. Otherwise we just use some junk or conveyor junctions. I think that is going to be fine. So let's go with that plan. Are those in the same orientation? Yes, they are. Good. So this should just be the same. Yep. So now all of the space in between them are going to be used for modules. Is that okay? Then we only have the space at the back, or on top of them, of course. I think we might have to use some of the space on top, but... I think that's going to be fine. Before we build this out too much, though, I think we should start completing some of the... ...basics of this vehicle, because otherwise we will have stuff in the middle that we can't complete, with the welding ship at least. So maybe we should focus on the thrusters and the containers here. That'll also give us some idea about what sort of stuff we need to produce before we can finish everything. So let's remove these for now and then finish this belt off. That is the base of the vehicle. Mm. I think the thrusters did we produce a lot of stuff for those? A lot of metal gear, or metal grid, sorry. And large steel tubes. Seems like we're okay on that. Another thing is that if we want those six uh, hydrogen tanks that we were planning, we want those to be full when taking off, then we should probably start storing some more. And producing some more even. Because we are not really producing anything right now. Because I was stupid and made this. That I thought was just going to mine ice all the way down. Which it wasn't. Mm. Could just make some mining rig that just grapes off the top of all this snow. Oh, we could think about that later, but really I think that is going to take a while, so we should probably think about it now. Do we have anywhere where we would think there's a lot of ice underneath? It doesn't really matter if we have to transport it back as long as we can set something up that then keeps working. Hmm. 
there's no ice lakes around here at least. So I guess it is just all this snow with a bit of ice under it. And we think of some way to mine this efficiently. Well, I can't think of one way, but if it's efficient, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I really wish there was an easy way to tell how deep the snow slash ice is, other than just having to go through it. Now this says that there's like 20 meter down, but there's this rock in between. Is this ice depot down here large enough? Or did it just lie to me? Wait, where's the exit? There it is. Oh, I also didn't go quite straight down. So it said there was ice down here somewhere, but then it disappeared. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's not more good for me. And there's nothing here. Great accuracy on that. But this, this seems to be the same as over here, so maybe everything covered in snow just has a couple of meters of snow, then a couple of meters of ice, and then it just runs underneath it. Are these all lying? That's weird. But yeah, that seems to be the case. Hmm. Should we try making a stationary ice mining rig that can do all of this, or should we just make a ship that we can scrape off the top with? That way we don't have to consider all of the hills and uneven surfaces here. I think that might be easier to accomplish. And instantly I'm thinking about this ship, but honestly that is not powerful enough to do anything like that. Hmm. So yeah, I just don't want us to finish the spaceship and then have to wait for five episodes before we can fill it up with hydrogen. Or longer probably. So I think we should be a bit better prepared and just get them ice now and turn it into hydrogen. So we probably should build a big ice mining ship first. How about that? That sounds a bit smarter to me at least. So let's start with that. We will build it at the big grid though. Because a big grid means bigger thrusters and bigger cargo containers. And bigger mining drills of course. So that's the base. Just want to park that right there. Oh, it's auto connecting apparently. Auto logging. Oh, because I remade that one landing gear after destroying it, of course. So, do we want one container or two containers on this ship? Probably two, then we have extra we can use. I think we're gonna do like with the 
this transport or scout ship that we have a connector underneath the cockpit at front. Mm, actually, this landing gear might have to go sooner or later because I'm thinking about having the drills going down from the bottom of it. Usually, I make the oh, with my mining ships, I put drills at the front around the cockpit, like with the small mining ship, just bigger and a lot more drills. But that means you have to look into the ground and scrape around it, and then you have to have a lot of thrust dust that can push you back. With this, we just have, if we put the drills underneath it, we just have to have downwards thrust dust in mark. That will be the plan, but low. already I'm using way too much fuel here. Fuel critical. But I guess I am just flying around all the time at the moment. So, but hey, cockpit. Yeah. Put another junction there, put a connector there. Then we said we wanted two containers. And then we need a lot of batteries, I guess, for both the thrusters and the mining drills. And enough to have enough output for all of those thrusters, of course. I guess we're just putting these back here. Of course, we could also just use our mining rig. What? Did I forget to take out my fuel tank again? <laughs> Dang it! I'm too good at just putting these in and not taking them back. Oh well. So maybe instead of producing a whole new mining ship that we can fly around, maybe we should just use the mining rig, fly that around a bit, maybe make some improvements on it. At least we could do that, we just need some more batteries on this. As someone pointed out in the comment, these batteries don't have the output to actually power all of the thrusters that needed to lift this, at least not fully, so they're not running at full force. So we could just add more batteries. I think the charging is okay at least as long as it's landed at least. Yeah. So that might be a better idea. We'll just go and make some holes in the ground with this. Maybe put some more drills on it. And we aren't really going to go deep into the ground. That might be a better idea. No reason really to start using a lot of resources for a new ship. But then we do need to bring this back. I think we have enough power on it to... Eleven minutes. Yeah, and as you can see down the bottom right, we are using a hundred percent of our output when thrusting upwards. Now just hovering is of course a, little, a bit easier, but... Oh wait, I'm pacing the wrong way here. And yeah, we really need some more... Uh, gyroscopes on this if we want it to be a bit more agile. Well, let's try this, shall we? Oh, Meteor Storm. 
going right for our base. Okay, I think we can make this faster by using the upward thrust as before. Forward thrust. But then we will have to go down at the other end because I'm not going to point this all the way down. So let's just focus on getting home in one piece. Hopefully no, none of those meteors hit anything important. So let's go down a bit. How about we just start right here? Let's just see if we can get it a bit more level. I guess this level, never mind. And we should have connected here. Yep, good. So I guess we can just start mining. Of course, we only have one inventory space left, I think. This was almost full. No, only half full. Never mind. So... Drilling on. And I guess two is extending. Oh yeah. But we... Made that a lot faster, so we have to slow that down again, because otherwise we will just hurt things. Drilling pistons. Get as close to zero with this as we can. Uh, maybe if I just turn down the sensitivity of my mouse just a bit, that would be easier. I think that is pretty good. Let's try and reverse that and see how slow it is. That seems pretty good. I think the drills should be able to keep up with that. Let's turn on the drills. Of course this means that we can actually store the ice and the magnesium from the ship. So how about we add some more storage here instead of this over here. Want to build the storage out this way, maybe? We can only fit one there, that's a bit unfortunate. We could build out this way as well, and even down into the hole if we wanted to. Let's go with this for now, I guess. Hopefully, we have enough for that. This is heavy. Wait, are we without forward thrusters or something? No. Are we really just that heavy? As soon as I looked down a bit, we started drifting it seemed. But maybe that was just me being a bad pilot.
Okay, so we are low on some resources in the ship at least. So let's have a look. Low on interior plate, that's easy to fix at least. I believe we do have a good amount of those. 1500 right there. Oh, we're full of stone, of course. Can we get rid of that? Yes. How about the other container? This one, I think. Yup. So now we're actually entirely full on cargo, so we are very heavy. Maybe we should drop some of these. Let's drop some of it. So that should give us a bit better agility. Not a lot though, but as soon as we put in these interior plates, we should be even better. I really push, should put more forward thrusters on this, this thing, because it's getting annoying. Oh, did we not grab enough? Metal grid is also needed, okay. Maybe we should have a look if we can get rid of anything from the ship. Maybe these 1200 motors. Plus these. No, these. These are not from this ship. So a lot of metal plate, steel plate. That's fine. Good amount of steel tube. That's probably also fine. I think it's just these that need to go. these down to have a better overview of what we have. We pull these up then. Pull these down. Pull this up. Okay, so we have a good amount of space in this one now. And some leftover space in this. What did we need? This stuff? So it isn't as heavy as I was fearing. What else do we want? Steel plate we're fine on. Maybe more interior plate. Let's just take the rest of this, I guess. Okay, I think that is fine for now. Let's not try to fill it up more than we need to. So now we should be able to bring in everything from this ship and then everything from the mining rig. And maybe we should go and see if that has actually started on the ice mine. We can see from here it is getting down there. And it's gotten itself stuck apparently. No, it hasn't. Never mind me. It just looked stuck. So oh, should we put more drills on it, just so we don't have to make as many small jumps here? We probably should. How about we just do that now? Pull the pistons back up. Should we just speed that up? Sure. I think we can hit the slow speed again anyway. Turn off the drilling. And let's see if we can hit a low speed with these again. Right there. Good. 
then add some more drills. Steel plate needed, of course. Also, we should probably keep these assemblers working. That's it's a waste of time otherwise. So we can just make a lot of this. More of this. Mm, sure, why not more of that? Not more of that. More computers. More motors, more of these. More of these. Sure. I just need a few paint. Then I'm happy. Two more need hide. Is that what we want? Or do we want even more? The main concern here is that we are putting too much strain on all of this uh, piston setup thing. But let's try it out, I guess. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode, so thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.